New at 6, bringing the community together. The Tallahassee Downtown Improvement Authority had a hand in creating the three art projects you see on your screen. They're small examples of the big impact the authority is working to have on the area. This year marks 50 years of development and beautification by the authority in the downtown area. In New at 6, I talked with well, one woman who's in charge of leading that mission. She showed me the progress they've made over the years and the big plans they're working on for the future. From the bustling traffic on Monroe to the sound of new business opening up on Adams Street, downtown Tallahassee thriving once again after nearly two years of pandemic uncertainty. We have an incredible, resilient, creative bunch of business owners and entrepreneurs um, here in downtown. Elizabeth Emanuel is CEO of the Tallahassee Downtown Improvement Authority. So since you were born and raised here, what's it like now to see all the developments going on? Yeah, I think it's it's an incredible thing. Um, the Tallahassee that I was born into is very different than the Tallahassee that we see today in all the best ways. From the development a few blocks away at Cascades Park to new art boxes covering street corners with color. She's working to add diverse experiences for a diverse crowd in the downtown area. Tallahassee is a diverse community, so what do you do to make sure that the business community is just as diverse? And it's one of the challenges that we're constantly working on. We've got um, a long way to go in terms of making our downtown business-wise more diverse, um, but one thing that has been an incredible feat has been the last three businesses to open up in downtown have been women-owned and operated. One of those businesses is Poco Vino on Adams Street. Y'all just opened up. We did. We're brand new. Amanda Morrison owns the shop, attracting new business to this corner of the capital city. How's it feel? It's been amazing. It's been such a warm welcome from um, both the downtown community and the community at large. I think people are excited to see something new and fresh downtown. It's the first new retail shop to open downtown in 10 years. Add to that the restaurants, farmers markets, and events already happening here. I've lived in downtown for most of my uh, time in Tallahassee. They are changes that DIA board member Cynthia Tunnicliffe says she welcomes. I think we have so much to offer downtown that we need to emphasize that. We've got over 90 free events scheduled um, right now and then we're working on some great collaborations with the city of Tallahassee for a pedestrian improvement project. Projects like widening sidewalks to encourage more foot traffic even when school or lawmakers are not in session. How do you think businesses opening downtown can help the greater community at large? building um, creative experiences for everyone and really focusing on diversity and inclusion and that footprint we know is going to work here to start bringing everyone from all corners of the community downtown, not just the people who already happen to be here. Over the last year, Emmanuel says they have worked to bring more than a dozen different pieces of artwork to the downtown area from local artists and they've got more planned for the months ahead. I'm adding links to future downtown events too with this story at WTXL.TV.